Ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you please rise. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the Fuqua School of Business, I present to you the Master of Management Studies Class of 2022 and the Master of Quantitative Management Class of 2022.
Please be seated. This is the final exam for our graduates to see if they can find their seats. <laughs> my name is Bill Bolding, and it is my extraordinary privilege to be the dean of the Fuqua School of Business. In my opinion, every day at the Fuqua School is a great day, but today, is an extra special day as we celebrate the accomplishments of these soon-to-be graduates. I thank the MMS and MQM students for making their way through a year that has been at times challenging, at times fun, exhilarating, at a times stressful, at times challenging, at times complicated, and ultimately arriving at this joyous occasion. Thank you for navigating that path. Of course, you did not navigate that path on your own. I am so happy that we have people who can join us today, who are a part of your journey, who supported you in making possible this accomplishment. And so for all the friends and family that are here with us today, thank you for joining this joyous moment. And of course, we have many friends and family because of the state of the world could not join us today. And I send my greetings and gratitude to all of them wherever they are in the world at this moment and so glad that they too can be a part of this ceremony. I also want to extend my thanks to the faculty and staff that guided you on this journey. They gave everything into a year, which as I said, has been so complicated, so challenging, so difficult, and yet ultimately so rewarding, thanks to, in large measure, the efforts made by your wonderful faculty and the wonderful staff supporting this program. So I am thrilled beyond measure that we can be here. This is the first time we've been able to have a graduation in a number of years where we have... Okay. I'm assuming those are cell phone alerts that are all chiming in together. I think that that's a thunderstorm alert and I will proceed. We, we are safe in here. Uh, so it is, it is wonderful, as I was saying, to be able to celebrate together, not to have people socially distanced as we had in our last graduation, to be able to see the faces of the graduates, and to be able to have family and friends join us, which we could not have in previous years. And so to be able to resume this tradition is a wonderful thing. And as I begin the events, I would like to begin by thanking again our faculty and pointing to the winners of the Excellence in Teaching Awards. So every year, Fuqua students select faculty members to receive the award for Innovation and Excellence in Teaching. These awards are based on the excellence of the activity in the classroom, the quality of the materials in the classroom, the approachability of the faculty members, their desire for continuous improvement, and the desire to challenge the students and therefore make their journey as valuable as possible. Two awards are given in the MQM program, one for a core class, one for an elective class, and one award is given in the MMS program. Let me begin by calling attention to the teaching award winner in the MMS program. This year, I'm pleased to announce the teaching award 
for excellence goes to Don Pajak. Clearly a popular choice. <laughs> now, what's unknown is, did he receive this award for the excellence of his introduction to financial accounting class or for the fundamentals of financial analysis? Apparently both. Why did students vote for Don? They voted for him because it was clear how much he cared about the students and how much he could bring his material to life in a way that truly led to learning on the part of the MMS students. Don, we are extremely grateful for what you've done. Thank you so much. <laughs> Turning to the MQM program and starting with the award for teaching excellence in a core class, the award goes to David Brown. <laughs> David teaches the Decision Analytics and Modeling core course. And when asked why students voted for David, the comments were, he went out of his way to support the students in their learning journey and he used so many relevant examples to bring his technical material to life. And he made sure that he always understood the progress of the students, and so the students always felt like they were cared for during this journey where they were challenged so directly. So David, again, thank you so much for what you've done. Finally, the award for excellence in teaching in an elective course, or as the MQM program is, calls them, a track class, the award goes to Mike Aguilar. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't get Mike to stand up. He, he can't be with us uh, this evening, but he is very, very grateful. I will accept this award on his behalf. Uh, but Mike taught the Empirical Economic Analytics course for students in the strategy track. And when asked why students voted for Mike, it was he was engaged. He was always checking in on the students to make sure that their understanding of the material was where it was supposed to be and always willing to help students to make sure that they were advancing along the path of knowledge as they should. He always provided in-class exercises to solidify theoretical concepts in a way that helped the students bring the material home and learn it in a concrete manner. And he fostered a strong community in the classroom. For that, we are very grateful to Mike, and I am very happy to accept this award on his behalf. With that, I would now like to invite Steve Miseraka, Dean of the MMS program, to come to the podium. Well, um, thank you, Dean Bully. This, this feels good, and some energy in this building for the first time. I noticed some cowbells up here somewhere, right? And some loud groups over here. Um, so I. I, uh, it's been a pleasure to walk with this group, and it's been a, a really special year and a time that we haven't been able to do this in a while. And you've redefined what it means to connect, and you've added to the MMS family. I'm going to ask the MMS fellows just to stand up real quick. Real quick, if you're an MMS fellow, stand up. Or the whole MMS class, That's, that works too. So if you're an MMS fellow, stand up real quick. So these folks went above and beyond to create connections, love for the family. For those of us on stage, it's been an absolute pleasure to walk with you on this journey to be on your bus. And so uh, it's my privilege to introduce one of those amazing fellows to be your class speaker 
Katie Stanko. Katie, the stage is yours. So this is what full attendance looks like. I want to start by thanking the faculty, staff, and administration here with us today. Without your efforts throughout the year, we would not be here able to celebrate this incredible accomplishment safely and with those we love most. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Last week, after I wrote a first draft of this speech, I sent it to my siblings. One by one, all three of them kindly told me not to give that speech and start from scratch saying it wasn't personal enough. What they meant was, it was terrible. So here we go. I'll speak candidly and vulnerably to you. 11 months ago, we came to Fuqua largely as strangers. For many of us, our only common ground was the path we were about to walk together. We were soon awkwardly hoisting sweaty strangers up a wooden wall at Triangle Training, and on the other side, found ourselves in a rigorous academic program filled with team assignments, cases, projects, presentations, and exams. Together, we endured seemingly endless R-Studio assignments and struggled through classes like decision modeling and corporate finance. Or maybe that last one was just me. We learned concepts and strategies that honor our intellect and fuel our ambition. But Dean Bolding did not challenge us on our first day to leave here with a prestigious job or superior past grades. He challenged us to develop our emotional intelligence, our EQ, but most of all, our decency quota, our DQ. He encouraged us to learn how to be compassionate human beings. Over the last few years, we have watched our 20s through a lens and were perhaps cheated out of some of our most pivotal core experiences and lasting memories. Amidst political, economic, and social adversity, a racial reckoning, the evolution of a global pandemic and a mental health epidemic, we have been challenged beyond the guidelines of our syllabi. The athletes in this room watched their careers alter drastically. Many of our international colleagues were forced to defer school, putting their lives on hold for an entire year. And many of us grappled to maintain our mental health and well-being. But during our time in MMS, I watched classmates ask for help and learned how to do the same. These moments were as humbling as they were inspiring. Collectively, we practiced accountability to ourselves and to each other. With a simple text, a comment in class, or a conversation in the Nana Steak bathroom, we, as classmates, became the most important kind of change makers, compassionate ones. The ones who ask, how are you doing? And truly listen to the response. The ones who recognize that we are all the same at our core that we all want to be happy, to be appreciated, and to be loved. So often, we are caught up in how we may be perceived. I was nervous, and still am, to stand here and be personal or vulnerable with you all. But I realize that being vulnerable is perhaps the biggest and most relatable lesson we've learned here. Vulnerability is not easy when you weigh the potential of judgment amidst so many people who appear to have it all together. As overachievers, we immediately consider anything less than perfection to be failure. But what we learned in those hard times was how much room exists between the lines of failure and perfection. This lesson can only be learned with a group like this one. And so, before we part ways, I want to remind you that the smartest people don't always have the fanciest jobs or highest accolades. The smartest people are the ones who are kind, compassionate, and show love to whomever needs it. In other words, it doesn't matter where you go when you leave Duke, it matters how you go. So as you make your way into the world, I want you to remember these three things. Kindness, compassion, and love. And know that you have a community of classmates prepared to do the same. Thank you. Thank you, Katie, for those wonderful remarks. And now I'd like to invite Jeremy Petranka to come to the podium as Dean of the MQM program.
Thank you, Bill. I will keep this short since they're celebrating to do tonight. So this is a quote attributed to Walter Elliott that says, perseverance is not a long race, it's many short races, one right after the other. And I have a feeling that everybody on the floor right now strongly relates to what that feels like. And even though it might feel like you still have races ahead of you, it's really important to pause and just celebrate everything you've done. Uh, there's, a, there's a definition of ritual that it's not just a moment that marks time, it's a moment that creates time. And that's what this is, that moment for you to stop those small races and just look at what you've done. We are incredibly proud of everything you've done and it's hard to describe how excited we are to see what you do as you go forward and change the world. I am also extremely proud to now introduce Hamza Mirza, who was elected by the MQM class of 2022 to represent them as their class speaker. What if you can't handle it? What if you fail? What if it doesn't work out the way that you expected it to? The terrifying uncertainty can be crippling and all-consuming. Growing up, I was a shy child constantly hounded by this what-if monster that seemed to return every time I thought I had squashed it. But today, I'm taking a moment to look at how far I've come and how far we all have come despite the uncertainty that we've had to navigate. I still clearly remember the first time I landed in Durham, I booked a one-way ticket back to Los Angeles three days later. Honestly, Durham catfished me. The never-ending trees, the lack of coffee shops I could walk to from my apartment, and the first person I met telling me they did not want to make any friends wasn't the best start to my time here. Ironically, she did become one of my closest friends in the program. But I couldn't help but think that what if this city guy, spoiled by the West Coast, wasn't cut out for this radically different experience? And even after years of thinking that I had overcome this horrid what-if monster, it had once again returned. But then a few sleepless nights later, Dean Bolding gave a speech that snapped me into a new alignment. He explained the concept of the decency quotient and its importance to the Fugua ethos. It hit me that I needed first and foremost to practice these ideas with regards to how I treat myself and frame everything and everyone that I encounter. And I am overcome with pride to say that over this last unforgettable year, I have been humbled to see the Fuqua community exemplify the kindness, integrity, and responsibility that the idea of DQ is built upon. I found the noise and the energy in a city which first seemed quaint and sleepy to me. And I've learned that instead of being hobbled by the sphere of the unknown, we can embrace uncertainty with excitement and wonder. So sitting here today, we are celebrating a rite of passage. We are celebrating a landmark moment, not only for our combined Fuqua community, but also for the road that brought us here. Whether or not they were able to make it here today, I hope you're thinking about your community. I hope you're thinking about the people and the experiences that uplifted you and allowed you to reach for the stars. I know that I wouldn't be here without my mom's strength and courage to make all our dreams come true and my dad's unconditional support throughout every stage of my life. And I most definitely would not have been able to make it through this last year without all of you, specifically everyone on the Splitwise. And so, in a humble attempt to try and pay forward the effect that Dean Bowling's words had on me, I'd like to try and snap us all into alignment with the essence of the Fuqua experience by asking, what if we can handle more than we ever thought possible? What if we succeed beyond our wildest imaginations? And what if your reality does exceed your expectations? To the class of 2022, congratulations and thank you for an incredible year. Oh, sorry. Um, I, I just wanted to leave you all with, with one final what if. Now, if you all can just close your eyes for a moment and just imagine that what if each and every single one of us shows up to shoot us tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Hamza, I was with you. Uh, 
until the coda to your speech. So, but thanks, uh, many, many thanks to both of our student speakers. It is now a, a great privilege to introduce our commencement speaker. When we look for someone to speak at graduation, it is a very, very high bar. We want someone of incredible accomplishment because we want a role model that you can aspire to as you think about where could I go in my career journey. We want someone who has learned from that, that accomplishment, that with that accomplishment has come wisdom, so that that wisdom can be shared with you as you begin your journey. And we want someone who's done things the right way, that part of that wisdom is that you need to actually not just have IQ, but also EQ and DQ. And so it is just a wonderful pleasure to announce Tom Fink as our graduation speaker, because Tom checks every box. If you look at the bio in your program, he has had a career of incredible accomplishment in the financial services industry. But what I know personally from having interacted with Tom over the years is that accomplishment was for very good reason, which is this is one super smart, super wise individual. But more than that, this is one of the world's finest human beings. This is someone that everybody wants to be on his team. This is someone who exudes decency, cares for values and respects others, and therefore has done things the right way. And we're lucky because on this journey that he has taken, it has brought him to Fuqua for a graduate degree. It has brought him to our board and now it has brought him here in front of our graduates. Tom, please take the podium. Wow, um, thank you, Dean Balding, for that very, very kind introduction. And uh, yes, certainly I am very honored to be here. Uh, uh, with the classes of 2022 for the Masters of Management Studies and Masters of Quantitative Management. And certainly I, I welcome and thank all those who came to support the graduates today. It's an honor to be speaking before all of you. But before I address our graduates, I want to first take a moment to acknowledge Dean Boulding, his administration and staff, and the FUQA faculty. As a member of the FUQA Board of Visitors and the parent of a 2022 daytime MBA student, I witnessed over the last two years the many challenges this group of professionals face in managing the impact of the pandemic and ensuring that FUQA students were able to thrive despite unprecedented circumstances. Team FUQA came through, and as a result, FUQA is stronger than ever and ready for whatever comes next. On behalf of all FUPA alumni, students, parents, and friends, thank you all for your endless hours of work, your creativity, and your leadership. You are the heart and soul of Team FUPA. To the members of the MS and QM classes of 2022, I am very honored to have the opportunity to be here uh, and to be with you on this special day and to celebrate this milestone in your academic journey. Over the last 11 months, you all have studied the fundamentals of business and quantitative analytics, expanded your skill sets and capabilities, and develop the intuition to make strategic data-driven decisions. These are all attributes that will serve you well as you navigate new challenges and seek to take advantage of the personal and professional opportunities that lie ahead of you. I am confident that each of you will find success in your chosen pursuits, and you will add to the growing number of FUQA alumni who are making an impact in the business world and beyond. 
As I sat down and thought about what would be the message here that I would deliver to you, I first took myself back to reflect on my own graduation in May of 1991. I remember on that day feeling very excited and accomplished in earning my degree. I recall the sense of camaraderie with my classmates and the sense of pride of having my parents and fiance there to support me. But I also vividly recall a sense of great relief that I will no longer wake up in a cold sweat for dreaming that I forgot to take my finance final. <laughs> yeah, we celebrated on that day, and I will tell you the class of 1991 knew how to celebrate. And we eagerly looked towards our futures, and I looked towards mine. And I will say, I could not imagine that 31 years later, I would stand here inside the hallowed halls of Cameron with all of you. But here we are, and let's make the best of it. The truth is, there was a lot that I could not have imagined in 1991. I could not have imagined that my fiance Heather and I would have five amazing kids, and then my daughter Ashley would join me as a Fuqua alum in 2022. I could not have imagined spending over 30 years in the banking and asset management industries and eventually become the CEO of a large global investment firm that's been around for over 250 years. Nor could I have imagined that my career would take me across the globe that would allow me to meet influential people in industry, finance, and government, and that would allow me to establish relationships and friendships with many colleagues and clients worldwide. Now, I could not have imagined any of this. Frankly, I was just happy to have earned my degree and to be able to celebrate with my classmates on that sunny day in May 1991. The fact is, the Fugue class of 1991 could not have imagined what the future held. But while we could not predict the future, we were keenly aware that we were leaving Fuqua at a very uncertain time, yet also a very exciting time in history, much like today. You see, as the decade of the 90s began, the US was emerging from a deep recession. The Soviet Union had split apart to allow the reunification of Germany, and NATO forces had just freed Kuwait from the invasion of Iraq. Yet despite these economic and geopolitical uncertainties, the world was also in the very early stages of the technology revolution, brought on by the introduction of the personal computer and cell phones in the 80s, and the emergence of the public internet in 1991. As a result, the class of 91 launched into our careers during one of the most uncertain yet dynamic decades of the 20th century. As graduates in 2022, you are also facing a time of uncertainty, of global and civil unrest, and uniquely a global pandemic. Yet like the class of 91, you are also coming into your careers at a time of incredible innovation and social and technological transformation. Indeed, the emergence of new technologies such as AI, the proliferation of social media, and the advent of cryptocurrencies in the metaverse are fostering perhaps the most dynamic, entrepreneurial, and innovative env environment in history. As a result, the demand for professionals with strong business and interpersonal skills, leading quantitative and data analytics capabilities, and most importantly, youthful energy and imagination is growing at an accelerating rate. As graduates of the MMS and MQM programs, you are all well positioned to thrive in the fast-changing world and to make an impact 
wherever you may go and whatever you may do. Well, there is no question in my mind, and I could tell from today's speakers, that you are all armed with the skills and capabilities to succeed in business and other pursuits today. I would like to share a few suggestions that you may consider as you enter the next chapter. These are things that I've gleaned through my own experience from graduate into the working world and ultimately to leading a company. I will first point out that success to me is not solely based on attaining a lofty position or making a lot of money. Rather, it is rooted in one's own sense of accomplishment and self-worth. Yes, money and position matter, but true satisfaction comes from knowing that you have done your best. You have worked with purpose and passion and you have helped those around you thrive. My first suggestion for you is to be confident yet humble. This is a trait I focused on a lot as a CEO. I wanted professionals on my team that had the skills and confidence to work independently and take measured risks, but also had the humility to be great teammates. You see, being confident is not the same as being arrogant. Confident people gather people to them. Arrogant people often find themselves working alone. You can be both confident and a great teammate. Second, don't hesitate to take stretch assignments or to pursue challenging opportunities. Frankly, if you don't take yourself out of your comfort zone, you will never know your full potential. I can point to several times in my career when I challenged myself to not accept what was comfortable, but to seek that which inspired and challenged me. I have never regretted any of those decisions. Each of you has great potential. Do not let the fear of failure keep you from pursuing that which will inspire and challenge you. Third, seek to be accountable or said another way, own your decisions and stick by them. The best leaders that I've met are clear and confident in their decision making. They also share credit when things go well and shoulder the blame when they do not. By being accountable, you will gain the confidence of those you work with and the respect of everyone. Fourth, always act in an ethical manner and absolutely expect the same from others. One of the best pieces of advice I ever received came early in my career from my boss at Bear Stearns. He had called me into his office to tell me he was allocating $150 million, that was a lot of money back then, to me to start trading an emerging asset class. At the end of the discussion, he said to me, Tom, there is no amount of trading profit you can make that is worth compromising the integrity of our firm. Never compromise, not for anything or anyone, your integrity. And finally, frankly, after all these years, have fun. You're going to be working in some form or fashion for a long, long time. If you don't like what you're doing, try something else. Strive to find that which will motivate you. Strive to find that which will fill you with the sense of purpose and accomplishment. And do it with people you respect and who you want to be part of their team. If you do all that, you will look back in 30 years and appreciate all that you could not have imagined. Congratulations, graduates. I wish you much success and happiness in your next chapter. Thank you.
Tom, thank you so much for those remarks, giving our graduates a roadmap and a sort of a set of guardrails to take the journey that's ahead of them and to show them by example, again, what it means to be a true leader of consequence. So on behalf of the entire Fuqua community, I would like to give you this small token of our appreciation. And with that, I'd like Steve Mizraka to step forward. Okay, at this time, we'd like to acknowledge a number of today's graduates. First, for each graduating class, we recognize the top 10% of students for their academic achievement. These students are designated as Fuqua Scholars and are noted in your program. I'll read the name of the Fuqua Scholars, and I ask as I read each name, the person stand in her or his place. So this is gonna be difficult, but I also ask the audience to wait until I've read all of the names before indicating their support and congratulations. So the Master of Management Studies, class of 2022, FEQA scholars are Rebecca Black, <laughs> Shuji Chun, Yiming Chun, John V. Clark. Pranit Day. Matt Dillaboo. Gabriel Eng. Michael Fairbanks. Arya Fard. Angel Gao. Simon Holmes. Yuchi Lee. And very special with a 4.0 GPA, Jacob McDowell. <laughs> yeah, you can clap and cowbell for that. That's really hard to do. So congratulations, Jacob. <laughs> Mary Kate Neff. Samudra Pua, Joshua Romine, Christopher Roy, Kareem Shabshab, Gaurav Shetty, Claire Wang, Danya Yadalam, and Jason Zeng. Please join me in congratulating the MMS Fuqua Scholars Class of 2022. Please be seated. <laughs> All right, they did not follow instructions. MQM, we gotta get this right, mainly because there's a lot of Fuqua Scholars, because there's a lot of you. So once again, I'd like to recognize the MQM class of 2022 Fuqua Scholars. I ask that each student stand in place, and everybody holds their applause till the end. I promise when they walk across the stage, you can go absolutely crazy. But in order to get this done quickly, let's go ahead and do it. The MQM class of 2022 Fuqua Scholars are Yash Tushar Agarwal. See there? <laughs> Tommaso Allegra. Nishant Nish Bahel. Zichi Tsai. Anika Cummings, Johnson Yao Du, Yunhan Michelle Fu, Ashley Gu, Bai Ying Hu, Shubo Huang, Jackie Cheng Young Jung, Igor Alice Jean, Yane Anna Kang, Gustavo Liramendi, Benjamin Lespluto, Chi Wei Liu, Xi Ying Lao, Tei Wen Ma, Jenny Nguyen, Chi Hem Pong, Meng Ru, Chinei Sha, Vi Vivian Wong, EJ Wong, Van Chong Chung Shu, Chung Hyun Yu, Junyi Jung, and Shinyi Zhou.
Now, please join me in congratulating the MQM Fuqua Scholars on their outstanding Very well done. Please feel free to be seated. I would now like to recognize Team Fuqua Award recipients. The Team Fuqua Award was created to honor students who exemplify the pillars of our community and serve the student body. The winners of this award are active and engaged participants in their classes. The award for a student in the MQM program is a student who consistently went above and beyond to enhance the Fuqua experience for her classmates through a positive attitude, hard work, and inclusivity. The MQM Team Fuqua Award is presented to Annika Cummings. Please stand. The winner of the MMS Team Fuqua Award is someone who continually strived to create opportunities for connection during a year when that was an incredibly difficult task. He led our student leadership team, the MMS Fellows, and worked tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure his classmates were given the chance to take advantage of all that Duke and Fuqua have to offer. He consistently put the needs of others before his own and accomplished incredible things this year despite all the challenges. Please join me in congratulating the MMS Team Fuqua Award winner, Shirag Balani. And now it is time to individually recognize our graduates. Your actual diplomas will be mailed to you in the coming weeks. Today, we want each of our graduates to come forward to be recognized and congratulated by Dean Bolding. We'll begin with the Master of Management Studies graduates. We ask that you rise from your row when instructed and accept your diploma cover from Dean Bolding. At this time, I will begin to read the names of the graduating students. First row, please rise. Catherine Ann Stanko. Shirag Balani. Pragya Agarwal. Nikunj Agarwal. Bhavya Agrawal. Saeed Junaid Ahmed. Tamara Ajur. Matthew Allswinger. Drake James Anzano. Lev Abdoshin. Ajinkya Buggle. Pratik Bansal. Students, please remember to bring your cards up when you come up. Tyler Ray Barron. <laughs> Katrina Berry. <laughs> Juliet Marie Baum. 
Harrison Berger. Harshi Bhagat. Ashray Bardwaj. Rebecca Roop Black. Yuet Sai. Colby Gage Campbell. Allison Lee Carr. Eric Thomas Carter. Sarah Ann Cavanaugh. Juarun Chin. Sarah Chan. Hanbo Chun. Yang Chun. Yiming Chun. Yueshuan Chun. Shirley Chun. Cloris Chang. Achal Chitkara. Elizabeth Melia Chittenden. Aaron Chu. Catherine Chuang. Sydney Sikovic. John V. Clark. Jose Mateo Cornejo. Katie Cosgrove. Catherine Cronin. Alexandra Sarah Davidson. Pronit Day. Sedant Tehadre. Lillian Delahanty. Kush Dunawat. Mrenme Pique. Matt Dillabo. Dante Du. Divya Dutta Chowdhury. Eric Christian Duffy. David Dunn. Gabriel Michael Ung. Michael Fairbanks. Adam Faki. Leon Fong. William Polk Farber. Aria 
Fard. Matthew Feinsilver. Amaya Finkley. Brian Francis Foley II. Benjamin Scott Fry. Angel Gao. Aman Ganguli. Lewis Grobert. Colin Robert Rip. Madhup Gupta. Elizabeth Camille Ha. Tao Han. Ishwen Han. Alicia Nicole Harrison. Angel Huck. Chase Gabrielle Henriquez. Lauren Alexis Hoffman. Simon Hale Holmes. James Howard. Tiffany Shaojin Su. Jia Huang. Jia Yi Huang. Olivia Hunt. Safe Iftikar. Ani Indurkia. Noman Irshad. Arizul Islam. Abik Jen. Param Jen. James Atkins Bates Jones. Natalie Khan. Riddy Kuna. Kushbu Ketan. Kayla Rose Kervin. Christopher William Copenhaver. Lai Abigail Landry Maria Lecaros Patrick Lighton
Dallin Lee. How you Lee. Shui Yu Li. Yu Chi Li. Ertaj Lao. Runju Lin. Fei Liu. Jimmy Liu Dominique Austin Long Jesse Harrison Lowy Michael Liu Matthew Manaloto. <laughs> Stephen Mann the <II>. second. <laughs> Aishwarya Marapuka. <laughs> Jacob David McDowell. Zarina Meta <laughs> Yu Meng <laughs> Miles Mingo <laughs> Riddy Mittel Maximilian Moser Charles Nagel Mary Kate McCarthy Neff Madeline Claire Nielsen Sumarth Negum Jillian Andachi Juan Esteban Ortiz Sr. Shingrong Pan Marco Pandalovsky Riddy Parashar Wesley Cade Parmelli Shweta Patil Mihir Pethe Samudra Pua Lillian Posternak Elizabeth Burke Poston Tyson Quander Manahil Qureshi Surya Ramasami Kirti Ramesh Michaela Christine Reinhardt Joshua Christopher Romine 
Rachel Marina Rosenstein. Jacob Solomon Roth. Christopher Davis Roy. Devarshi Rupani. Anush Shridhar. Raina Sadarangani. Simran Sahu. Mariam Ayomide Sanusi. Peyton Schwantz. Dikshita Santil Kumar. Kareem Shabsog. Kulp Shaw. Sweta Shaw. Christopher James Shanahan. Gaurav Shetty. Ekaterina Shaviakova. Nicholas Schwetz. Shruti Singala. Justin Scott Sotokoff. Sophie Song. Lyle Soten. Maya Simone Sowers. Donovan Quinn Spearman. Samantha Rose Staley. Rose Sue. Michelle Sullivan. Gayathri Sumitra. Chandi Sun. Eric Francis Shapanik. Wilnafki Talut. Ziwei Tang. John Marshall Taylor. Aditi Uki Himanshu Upadye Carson Travis Van Lynn Claire Wong Jade Williams. <laughs> Courtney Brianna Witherspoon. <laughs> Chi Wen 
Wong. Fan Wu. Lauren Shu. Tanya Vinay Yadalam. Yichen Yang. Arda Yazaja. Yue ZG. Jason Jung. Jackie Jo. Minzy Jo. Lehan Shu. And I will now recognize the graduates who are in attendance with us from the Master of Management Studies, Duke Kunshan University, Class of 2022. Alexandria Amarachi Ambabo. <laughs> Ziwe Dang. <laughs> Ashley Michaela King. <laughs> Michael Tiger Shu. Chanlung Jo. Congratulations to the Master of Management Studies class of twenty twenty two. Master of Quantitative Management graduates. We ask that you rise from your row when instructed and as your name is called, accept your diploma cover from Dean Boulding and our congratulations. At this time, I'd like to ask Meredith Bolin, di Program Director of Analytics Careers, to please come forward and read the names of our graduating students. Hamza Mirza. Annika Cummings. Agrima Agarwal. Yash Agarwal. Aditya Agarwal. Shivan Auja. Tomazo Allegra. Yazid Sevani. Anushri Avasti. Ahmad Muaz Awan. Nishant Bahel. Urja Lalit Balchandani. Pankaj Banza.
Akshara Pelote. Prabhav Bardwaj. Damodar Biani. Jan Blesher. Cecily Lingyi Tsai. Zichi Tsai. Anna Chako. Ankitpreet Chahal. Abhishek Shand. Wesley Chang. Chu Yu Chen. Hao Cheng Chen. Pin Chao Chen. Ren Chi Chen. Edwin Chen. Tina Shiuchi Chen. Wendy Chen Shui. Manav Rajiv Choksi. Rishi Chowdhury. James Chung. Prakar Dalmia. Ford Danielson. Tigran Danielian. Shruti Dash. Shinyu Lavinia Deng. Shreya Deshmak. Malvika Dingra. Shika Durka. Lorenzo DiNapoli. Junting Diao. Hao Ding. Li Ding. Rumeza Dogen. Xin Dong. Johnson Yao Du. Christian Izialigo. Xinwei Minerva Fang. Ariba Farouk. Jamin Fang. Shuole Fang. Crystal Fu. Yang Fu. Yunhan Michelle Fu. Part Gerola. Roy Gao. Kevin Garcia. Benayak Gotham. Ruth George. Siddharth K. Ashley Gu. Um,
Ankita Gupta. Ashmika Gupta. Harshit Gupta. Palak Gupta. Pearl Gupta. Pranav Gupta. Bani Gupta. Zarina Hamid. Yudi Khan. Baying Hu. Bridge Hu. Brian Huang. Shubo Huang. Yeni Huang. Chao Chang Jia. Jackie Chanyang Jiang. Equal Jean. Esther Nima Kamau. Mihir Joglaker. David Herbert. Azim Jahizuddin. Ananya Jane. Diegi Kang. Umar Khan. Yane Anna Kang. Saveli Colleen. Benazir Purshid. Pranay Koneni. Ritvik Kwila. Rishab Kumar. Suhasani Kumaran. Ray Kwan Hung Kuo. Bavia Jane. Gustavo Laramendi. Sarah Lee. William Sloan Lewis. Junru Lee. Tommy Lee. Weihan Melody Lee. Wei Chi Will Lee. <laughs> Xiao Hang Lee. <laughs> Zheng Jiang Josh Lee. Itang <laughs> Liang. Chin Yang Lim. <laughs> Hao Ching Lin. 
Layla Lin. Chiwei Liu. Doris Su Ying Liu. Shi Ying Luo. Martin Ma. Pei Wen Ma. Ryan Ma. Jacqueline Ma. Dhruv Maheshwari. Anmol Makijani. Rohan Mango. Devansha Merotra. Raj Kaushik Mehta. Ananya Mittal. Shinyu Angela Miao. Kexin Mo. Saganesh Mustiala. Niati Mutreja. Kunal Nutkarni. Ria Navlani. Erica Neelam. Jenny Nguyen. Shreya Negam. Christina Olszewska. Ji Young Oh. Rumai Padye. Yue Stella Pan. Chi Him Pong. Prasham AJ Varsha Parikh. Jizan Park. Yebin Jenny Park. Akshat Patel. Param Patel. Chankai Pong. Sydney Peppel. Min Fang. Zhang Chi. Vivian Chow. Ilan Chin. Ronick Rajor. Dhruv Rastogi. Young Sir Ra. Ana Teresa Rodriguez. Mung Ru. Koli Rungi.
Sundar Riali. Riva Sakaria. Salsa Bill Sala. Sachit Saraf. Ayesha Selwyn. Mokshit Shah. Shanai Shah. Ritu Sharma. Sharang Sharma. Shiza Sheikh. Eric Yushin Shi. Haoyuan Maxi Shi. Paras Shukla. Danish Siddiqui. Anamika Singh. John Skarmis. Joey Soder. Murphy Stadelmeyer. <laughs> Susan Yuting Su. <laughs> Russell Sun. <laughs> Wenxin Sun. Sijia Tan. <laughs> Chang Tang. <laughs> Stephen Dajeng Tang. <laughs> Aditi Tapaya. Nikhil Takur. Sneha Tirkanad. Sesha Sai Tiruvedala. Angela Tseng. Tanya Tulzian. Vipul Tiagi. <laughs> Jingnan Wang. <laughs> Wenjin Wang. <laughs> Yashuo Wang Gloria. Vivian Wong. Jiayu <laughs> Wong. <laughs> Kwanglin Jack Kwang. Jack. <laughs> EJ Wong. <laughs> Yiqing Wong. Morella Wong. Nicole Wen. Kate Wenger. Dustin Werner. Alec Wright. 
Chiu. Liang Wu. Amber Wu. Itao Wu. Eisenberg Xie. Yuan Xie. Sherry Xu. Melody Xu. Van Xu. Ife Xu. Ke Xuan. Ran Yan. Quan Hua Wu Lu. Connor Wan Ku. Mo Xiao. Sakai Yang. Jason Yang. Madarima Yella. Ziki Yin. Changkyung Yu. Ahmad Youssef. Jawi Isabel Jong. <laughs> Kelly Jong. <laughs> Kara Young. <laughs> Ying Dong Young. Summer Uchi Chung. Simon W. Chung. Chi Chi Chow. Wigan Vivian Chung. Wainan Zhang. <laughs> Xiaohang Yu. <laughs> Daniel Young. <laughs> Evelyn Xiaoting Zhang. Junyi Chang. <laughs> Lei Chang. Chris Chu. Xiu Chang. Maggie Chu. Dora Ming Zhao. <laughs> Xinyi Zhou. <laughs> Xuan Zhou.
Yuhan Chu, Emma. Jose Carlos Swart. James Wong. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Master of Management Studies Class of 2022 graduates and the Master of Quantitative Management 2022 graduates. Congratulations to all the graduates. At this point, instead of asking everyone to rise, I would like everyone in the audience to stay seated until all of us have recessed out of Cameron Indoor Stadium. But I would like all of our graduates to please rise. So in just a few minutes, we'll all gather together in the Fox Center and enjoy and celebrate this momentous occasion. But before that, I'd like to say a few words directly to the graduates. First of all, thank you. Thank you for choosing Fuqua. Thank you for making the best of your experience. Thank you for leaving us in a position where we are better than when you arrived. Thank you for taking this opportunity seriously and making the most of your chances to have a transformational experience. Having said thank you, I also want to make requests of you. I think you have some responsibilities as members of Team Fuqua. So what are these requests? The first one is, please, please show appreciation for the people who got you here. Some of those people are standing with you right now, and don't forget to thank them for the moments where they helped you along. But many people are sitting above us and around us, and some of them are online, or we'll talk to you about this later, but please take the opportunity to thank them for allowing this moment. The second thing is, stay in touch. This is not the end. This is really the beginning. You're now on a journey where you are all alumni of Duke University. I hope that you will stay in touch over the course of your lifetime with us and think about how you will give back to the students who follow you to make sure that their experience can be even better than the one that you had. The third thing is, don't just stay connected to Fuqua, stay connected to each other. And I'm sure all of you are thinking, oh, of course we will, we love each other, we've just gone through an amazing year together, we'll never forget each other. But guess what? All of you are going to be distributed around the world after you graduate. And it will take work to stay in touch with one another. Life will happen. Things will come at you fast and furious in the same way that they came at you this year. And it will be easy to say, I'll get in touch next week. Don't wait. Make sure that you keep those bonds strong. And as you think about these, these three requests that I have of you, here we are in Cameron Indoor Stadium on Coach K Court. Maybe it's appropriate to invoke Coach K for those of you 
who heard him as he finished up our Distinguished Speaker series. And he talked about the advice he had received from his mother. And that mother was, that, that advice was, <laughs> the mother of all advice was, be with good people. You have been with good people during this experience. Make sure that you stay connected to these good people over the course of your lifetime. Because another way of putting what Coach K's mother said is the way Aristotle put it, which is you can only have true friendship among good people similar in virtue. All of you have this opportunity for true friendship over the course of a lifetime. Do not lose that opportunity to embrace the incredible bonds that you've created during this year and to continue, on them, continue them over the course of your journey from here. The fourth request, I'm sure you can all guess. Never, ever, ever lose your decency. Hold on to that decency and spread it in the world. The world needs you and this is your time to shine. Congratulations once again. Thank you all so much.